Is this a landscape from science fiction? We are at the surface of a sea urchin. A slow-moving animal grazing on algae-covered rocks. Few people know that urchins go through a graceful larval stage. The pluteus, barely visible to the naked eye, drift with other planktonic creatures and are a favorite food for fish, shrimps, and crustaceans. Sea urchins are champions when it comes to producing large numbers of embryos. They release millions of eggs and billions of spermatozoids in the open sea, generally during full moon or just before a storm. Fertilization in the open sea gives rise to large populations of embryos developing in perfect synchrony. No wonder sea urchins have been used in laboratory research for more than a century. In a single day, the egg becomes a blastula, a ball of cells covered with cilia. Soon the ball hollows out, forming the gut of a gastrula. A mouth opens. The embryo starts feeding and turns into a pluteus larvae, a skeleton made of calcium carbonate crystals forms delicate, iridescent spicules. Using bands of ciliated cells, the weak old pluteus moves around, creating currents that direct algae and small particles to its mouth. A baby urchin grows inside the pluteus. The baby soon outgrows and digests its mother. This metamorphosis frees the young urchin on its journey.